be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we'll cover back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own 808 sounds in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now, it's actually pretty simple. This is going to go give you the super simple, quick way to do it. Um, this is from scratch. So basically, you're going to start off with a software instrument track. Under instrument, you're going to go to drum synth. All right. So we're going to start here. This is the first thing you're going to see when um, the drum synth plugin pulls up. You're going to want to be under the kicks. There's different options. You can go with kicks, snares, and everything like that. You want to be under the kicks. They have these different other options, but you're going to want to you know, manipulate this yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'll just push Command K to pull up my um, musical typing. Um, but what I'm going to do here is we're going to create our own 808 real quick. Now, basically, there's different knobs, control certain things. Um, for an 808, this decay, like the more you have, the more extended that 808 is going to sound. You can also, you know, control the actual sound of it through the shape. You can affect um, how it sounds to the tone. And then more importantly, you can also do the saturation. So you can pull this up. All right, so that's simple enough. Now you can come in here and save this 808 here. So you go to the default preset, go save as, and you can name it whatever. So hard 808. But I'm gonna be showing you like even better way to make this 808 sound even better. So what we're gonna do, we'll click out of this, come here, go to these scissors, and we're just gonna draw a note in at six at C3. Push command. I actually have to push this down some. So if you push shift option and then the down arrow, that'll take it down an octave. Cool. So Let's take this out. Let's just go ahead and play that. All right, bet. And so what you want to do now is just right click this, go to bounce in place. And now you have a, uh, a wave file here of this 808. Now that's cool because now we can come over here. We can trim this up, push command T. If you push T, It'll bring up all the tools. You can go to the fade tool. You can fade out this little part right there. And this is cool too, because you can now come over here and, and, and do some further editing of this um, through plugins and EQ and things like that. So check this out. So we can go start with EQ. <laughs> See how that sounded so much like different, better, just do the EQ. All right, then you can come over here and you could do other things, add some more distortion if you want, um, you know, a compressor, different things like that. Now, really, I'm not gonna do too much more to this. I'm actually gonna just use this adaptive limiter. The adaptive limiter is there to like make sure it doesn't peak. So you can still come over here, do it like this too. So you gotta kind of play around with it. Um, you know, when I took it down all the way here, it kind of took away from the actual 808 sound. So at least a negative 0 
uh, one. Uh, this is at the bare minimum you want to do on that, and that'll just kind of keep it from peaking. But anyway, y'all, that's pretty much how you can make your own like 808 sounds. Now I could take this bad boy, I could drag him and drop him into the quick sampler. Boom. And now I have this 808 I can use. feel me and the cool thing is well as well so i can take this now and uh save it in here there's other cool things you could do with the uh, quick sampler as well you can go to this filter but i'm gonna keep that off i'm just gonna go over here to the default preset and just go ahead and save this as well Now, every time I want to find it, it's going to be located down here. Or I can just like load it up here. So this is just two different ways. One is just using strictly the um, drum synth. You feel me? And you can save it there. And then the other way is after, after you actually get the sound, go ahead and create a MIDI file. And then, you know, convert it into audio. Maybe do a little EQing. And, uh, Put this adaptive limiter on here. This at negative zero, negative point one dB, um, and then that's gonna keep it from peaking. And then you can throw it into the quick sampler, and you have an 808 you can use whenever you want. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover today, man. Um, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more tips like this. Um, hit me up if you have questions in the comment section below. I appreciate all of you all watching my videos, and um, I really hope that. You know, I have some testimonials. If you do have testimonials or whatever, just leave them in the comment section too, man, if I've helped you out with your production or anything like that. Also, keep in mind that you can go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com, okay? On the site, we do have exclusive content. So we do post a lot of videos here, but we also have some exclusive content on our site. So you can grab courses, you can grab some sound kits. Coolest thing about the sound kits is only a select few group of uh producers have these sound kits the loop packs drum kits and stuff like that so you know unlike you know going to some of these other different sound banks not everybody has this stuff so you can grab this and you know really cook up some original um you know tracks that sound like nobody else's um you also have mixed and simplest there's a whole lot of things on my site that you can grab we have a bundle deal where you get everything but anyway i appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next video